Hi. In this video, we are going to discuss about uh, in what are the ways we can download Java software. There are two major ways in which we can download Java software. One is via OpenJDK. Another one is via Oracle Portal. Now, what's the difference between them? OpenJDK is uh, open sourced Java community who is maintaining the Java software as a open source standard, wherein in Oracle, they are maintaining it as a commercial version. Uh, to take you back to the history of Java, it all started from Sun Microsystem, the organization who was actually owning the Java software at that time. And uh, the Java software was uh, uh, maintained by Sun Microsystem. And the father of Java to name is uh, James Gosling. And uh, James Gosling and his team was were working on developing an operating system for the embedded uh, devices in those days. What happened was uh, when they were working, uh, they found that the operating system by itself can be extended to develop applications. So they thought of coming out with an idea of promoting this particular operating system as a programming language. So at the time it was called as an Oak language, but later they renamed to Java. And uh, from there on, uh, it was uh, uh, branded and commercialized as a Java as a, as a term. And also they were uh, able to come up with uh, a lot of uh, ways in which the Java as a programming language can be used. For example, they we can able to develop a, a web application, we can able to develop a desktop application. So the standards of Java programming language was raised. Now, uh, if you look at the Oracle, then why we need to talk about Oracle, not about micro, uh, I mean, Sun Microsystem. The reason is, uh, I guess it, it was in the year 2008, uh, where actually the, uh, the adoption of microsystem, Sun Microsystem have happened uh, by Oracle. Oracle have adopted the Sun Microsystem. So now what happens here is uh, the moment Oracle uh, acquired Sun Microsystem, the Java also comes into their kitty, but they want to separate it as a two version. One is you can maintain it as an open source through an open JDK community, but Oracle also wants to maintain it as a commercialized version so that they can give more support to the users who is going to use the Java software. Keeping that as a standard, now we have two ends in which we can actually go ahead and download the software. So OpenJDK URLs are provided here and the Oracle uh, Java URL is also provided. You can go straight into that particular URL and download the software. Okay, now what are the difference? The main difference is OpenJDK maintains, it, uh, maintains the Java software as a archived version. But wherein in Oracle, they are maintaining it as an archived version and also in the installer version. So you also get an installer version where you can just double click that and then next, next, next step of, step of processes, which you can follow throughout your installation period and done. You are done with uh, installing the software. But that's not the case in OpenJDK. Even Oracle has an archived version, but we prefer for going for the installer version. OpenJDK offers only the archived version. So what I'm going to do is uh, in the next video, I'm going to take you to a tour of these two portals and explain you how we can download the software, keep it into our local mission, and then go ahead and start installing them. So uh, right now, we just saw the difference between OpenJDK and the Oracle Java, right? But apart from that, we do have other organizations who are also having their own customized version of uh, Java, like for example, Amazon uh, and uh, Google have their own version of Java. That's because the o Java was maintained as an open source uh, programming language or the uh, software by itself. So any organization can extend the uh, software and they can customize it and they can use it for their need and their purpose. That's how Amazon and uh, Google comes into the picture and they own their own version of Java software as well. But it's good to 
follow with these guys like OpenJDK and Oracle in order to use it for a personal use. If in case you're going to use it only for the personal use, then you either go for Oracle or OpenJDK. But if it's commercial, then you have to rely only on uh, Oracle. So Oracle provides it as a commercial version and they provide a 24 bar 7 support services. If in case you want to get some support from them, they will be ready to provide it because it's a commercial version where you have to uh, pay a few bucks and then you have to purchase the license for that software in order to install it on your commercial space. So that's how practically the OpenJDK and the Oracle Java differs in it. So in the next video, we are going to see how we can uh, learn these portals and in order to download the software into our local machine. So thank you so much for your time. We'll catch up in the next video.